Hi guys and welcome again to Smart Prep. Today we are going to be doing some NBT AQL revision. In my previous video, I went through everything that's going to be in the upcoming a AQL exam. Today, what I'm going to do is focus on scrambled uh, text, which is usually the first section of the exam. And I'm Okay, so when you are given scrambled text, you're given five sentences and you are asked to rearrange them in the correct order. Now, just to make sure that you can see everything, we don't need me to be that big. So I'm going to just make a video of me smaller and let's just focus on the text. Okay, so uh, we want to get these in the right order. So with these sort of questions, what you need to do is you need to find out what the first sentence is. It's much like when you do a puzzle, you're finding the edge piece. Here we're trying to find the first sentence. All right, so one range of such devices. Okay, one range of such devices. So this is referring to some devices that have been already been mentioned. Okay. Many of the latest and most Innovative inventions focus on what seems to be, to many, to be the most pressing issue of our time. So this does not need, this stands alone. So this is sort of setting the scene. So this is a candidate for our first sentence. Let's check the next ones. It therefore comes, okay, it therefore comes. So therefore it means it's been talking about something before then. Um, and then the research is motivated by the realization. So that's referring to some research. Okay. Both batteries and capacitors are keys to reduce CO2. This is the challenge of global warming. Okay. So this is the challenge of global warming. Reduce CO2 emissions. Okay. So this is referring to some global warming, but it's, this is the challenge. So it's clearly not the first sentence. So we, we now know that, yes, B is the first sentence. It's setting the scene. It's saying many of the latest and most innovative inventions focus on what seems to many to be the most pressing issue of our time. Guys, so what I want you to actually do is um, pause the video and see if you can do this yourself because they not as easy as they may seem. So try and do it yourself and see if you get the correct answer. All right. So uh, it's talking about the most pressing, pressing issue of our time, which is global warming, right? So that's global warming. So this is the challenge of global warming. So that immediately when we talk about that, we know that E is then next. Um, the research is motivated by the batteries and capacitors. Okay, so, and then here we're talking about devices and batteries. Okay, so it therefore comes as no surprise. Okay, so you know that D and A are connected because they both talk about batteries. One range of devices is the research into batteries. Okay, so this. This one, A is before D, because this is talking about the research into batteries, and then here it's talking about batteries and capacitors. So the, they're talking about the research here, and then they're saying, they, so they introduce the idea of the research, and then they talk about the research. So we know that then that we've got an AD and an AD, so we know it's either going to be B E A D C or B E C A D. So we want to check. It therefore comes as no surprise that the recognition of the innovation internationally has begun to emphasize devices that must meet the change. Okay, so they're talking about now we need devices. So this is their next. So we've got this was one, this is two. Yeah, we're talking about uh, three. Okay, and then um, we know that it was A before D, so four and five. Okay, so that's the first one. So once you get the first uh, uh, 
sentence, it becomes a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is, now that you've had a bit of practice, you know how this works. Uh, what we're going to do is, well, let's go on to one more. And again, I would like you, uh, by the way, so when you when you uh, put this down, they ask which sentence did you put first? So obviously that would be B, so you'd, you'd circle B. Um, then they said, which is second? And that was E, so you put E second and so forth. Okay. Let's look at uh, number two. Okay, world tourism has yet has yet another bumper year. All right. So we've got again. We're going to try and find our first sentence. Even more remarkably, okay, clearly not a first sentence. In 2016, international tourists grew in. An, okay, so this is a candidate for our first sentence, right? In 2016, into, this stands alone. It's setting the scene in 2016, especially that it begins with a date. Okay, so we think this is our one. Just how strong that growth will depend. Okay, so this mentions some growth that's been talked about. Okay, but it doesn't actually, uh, doesn't stand alone yet. A comparable sequence of no, so this is again, interrupted growth has been reported since. So now this is talking about growth that's been comparable since recorded. So this is again going on about growth that hasn't been introduced yet. So it would have to be introduced in one of the other sentences. This constitutes a quite remarkable increase of 46 million over a number of years. So, okay, so we know that there's been an increase that's been talked about. So, okay, so B is definitely the first one because B says, Okay, so now we can kind of get an idea by reading the first sentence of what this passage is going to be about. So in 2016, international tourist arrivals grew in an otherwise low growth environment by a significant 3.9% to reach a total of 1, 2, 3, 5 million. Okay, now clearly E follows on from that because this mentions a growth and this says this constitutes quite a remarkable increase of 46 million. Okay, so we've done that. So we know that this is number one, and this is number two. Okay, even more remarkably, it was the seventh consecutive year of growth. So now this again talks about the growth. So this, we're thinking is third. Let's just check though. So we think that's third. Just how strong that growth will be depends on how Okay, so it doesn't make sense to go from 46 million over the previous year and then to say just how strong that further growth will be because they talk about further growth that ha hasn't been mentioned yet. And then a comparable sequence of intra has not been recorded since. Okay, so increased quite remarkably over the past. Okay, even more remarkably, it was the second, seventh. So this is number Okay, so that's done. Tourism followed in 2000. Just how strong that further growth will be depends on. Okay, so this seems to be, I would guess now, this seems to be the last, the fifth one. But let's just check. A comparable sequence of uninterrupted solid growth has not been recorded since the 60s. Okay, so yeah. All right, so this going to be number four. So we should have them all. Okay, so now let's read it and see if it makes sense. Okay, so you read it at the R oh, once you've done it. By the way, guys, um, this is if, if this is the part you struggle with the most, um, maybe uh, don't stress too much because it's only five marks. Most of the marks come from your comprehension. Okay. But um, if you are struggling, don't forget we've got all the past papers for these exams, and many of them get repeated. So if you go onto our YouTube channel, you'll see that on a lot of the videos, guys have come back and said the paper was exactly as is. So what I'm saying is get hold of the past papers. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and also um, watch our videos. I'm going to be putting these on a playlist. Um, if you cannot watch these yet because they haven't been released and you're writing your AQL exam um, soon, I apologize. Um, 
but please like and subscribe and then I will um, up, uh, upload more content as quick as I can. But if you don't, then just grab those past papers. All right. Um, <clears throat> uh, there is also a link to the other recordings with all the other past papers. But anyway, um, let's read this again. Okay, so in 2016, international tourists arrived and grew in an otherwise low-growth environment by a significant 3.9% to reach a total of 1.235 million worldwide. This constitutes a quite remarkable increase of 46 million over the number of arrivals for the previous year. Even more remarkably, it was the seventh consecutive year of above average growth in international tourism following the 2009 global economic crisis. A comparable sequence of uninterrupted solid growth has not been recorded since the 1916 and augurs well for further growth in 2017. Just how strong that further growth will be depends, however, as always, on a number of factors that are difficult to predict at the present. Okay, so there we go. That all makes sense. Uh, scramble text uh, just takes a little bit of time. Keep practicing, and I will see you in the next video where we will be doing, um, I believe it's register, but um, it's all going to be in a playlist. I'll put a playlist in the uh, comments and the description. So you just click on the playlist, and what you can do is then just watch the MBT preparation from beginning to end. Thanks very much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon.